Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm out at my local park today that's near my house. This evening, just doing a little bit of walking around, getting some exercise. Uh, just thought I'd give you a channel update. Maybe give some explanation for why you haven't seen much of me here lately. Except for uh, last weekend when I, I went bass fishing. Uh, a lot of you probably saw that video. But uh, here in Florida, uh, it's very dry. We're in a drought condition. We haven't had very much rain. So they've declared a uh, burn ban. So you're not allowed to have any kind of fires whatsoever. And uh, so, as you know, with my military surplus videos, I like to, um, you know, give you a good review at real use in the field. So um, I decided not to even, not to do those even with a, um, a hiking stove. So I just want, don't want to come out here and, uh, you know, get accused of starting a fire that might happen that I didn't actually do, you know. So I'm just being extra careful. I don't want to cause any kind of damage. So that's why you haven't seen many of my videos, many of my updates. The wind's picked up. <laughs> so as you can see behind me, a lot of the grass and stuff is brown and kind of, you know, the only thing that's green is the weeds. So it would not take much. It's just so dry for a fire to, to spark up. So, so today I thought I would just... Uh, you know, give you that update and then maybe show you what I'm carrying in my haversack here. Uh, today I'm carrying this East German gas mask bag that I've converted into a haversack. So hopefully that's showing up on the camera. And I'll show you what I'm carrying in here just for an evening walk out here in my local park. So uh, stand by and we'll we'll get to a spot where I can sit and take a break and get a drink of water and we'll, we'll show you what I got in the bag. This used to have water in it, lily pads and fish, and now you just see stumps sticking up and the roots from the trees that used to be here. Okay, so here's the, the East German gas mask bag that, I was, that I'm carrying today. Um, this was uh, made in the late 80s, right up till they uh, they dissolved that army in that country and it became Germany again. Okay, and this is the uh, the Strictarn uh, raindrop pattern, some people call it. Okay, but it's, it's the Strictarn camouflage that they had. It's on a lot of their equipment. Uh, there is a side pocket here, which uh, was made probably for carrying a, a extra gas mask cartridge or something uh, it's got this release and a buckle here when you pull the strap out it enables you to open it uh, the one thing I don't like about it is it's open right here so uh, whatever you put inside this pocket you better make sure that it's not going to be able to fall out so uh, to me this pocket is kind of useless uh, for carrying anything smaller okay uh, on the back it came with these uh, two of these belt hooks here you can see them here they're like two little wire hook things there and then there was two belt loops which is hard for you to see in this picture but here it is right here the soldier actually carried this on their utility type uh, belt that hooked to their suspenders and stuff and that's what how it was actually carried with the soldier right on their side okay or, or back here or somewhere I can't remember exactly but what I did was I work in the automotive industry so I had an old uh, seat belt that was bad and I took it out of the retractor and just tied it onto here and turned it into a haversack okay all right so uh, it's also got this front uh, buckle type system the same that's over here where you just pull this latch and when you first get it they're kind of tight this one's worked itself loose but you can see I had a little bit of trouble here with this one but as you work it a few times it, it, it seems to work in fine okay and then it has a flap it's made to kind of 
covered this pretty good. You can see it covers the edges, but you gotta watch. Uh, I would keep an eye on it while you're carrying it in the rain. Make sure that the, the flap doesn't get folded in like that and the rain can get in. Uh, it's a heavy, like a medium canvas material, but it's coated with this plastic on the other side. So it kind of makes it waterproof uh, from soaking through. It's not a waterproof bag, but it'll, from rain, it will help keep the rain out, okay? Inside, uh, let's see if I can get this. There's a pocket here in the front, which is sewn in. You could slip uh, like a notebook or something in there. In here, I've got uh, some beef jerky. Okay, bacon jerky. <laughs> Okay, and it's it's thin enough to slip something like that in there. Actually, right here. Okay, and then you got a small pocket here, which was... And in there, I've got uh, a bag for gathering tinder. There's some black moss in here I pick up along the way while I'm walking. And I just stuff it in this, take it home with me. And some tissues for in case nature calls. <laughs> so there's a there's a little container here you know, like a little and, and it's sewn all the way in so it is really a separate separate pocket okay from this main compartment this pocket here though it will slide into this pocket so it's not uh, totally sewn in okay also what I'm carrying I'm testing is this Austrian army canteen with this nice cover Okay, and inside here there's a uh, a canteen cup, very similar to the US GI one with the L handle that folds out. Okay, and this is the this is the canteen I'm playing around with now. Got a clear plastic bottle. Pretty cool. I like that. You can see how much water you have left in there. And inside's the cup. I don't want to spoil too much here because I'm I'm going to do a review on this along with the mess kit from Austria. Okay, whenever this weather gets better and I can get out and do stuff. But that's the Austrian mess kit cover and canteen cup that's inside here, okay? I'm going to have a little drink from this after I get done with this. Also, I'm carrying some much-needed bug repellent here in Florida. You never know when you walk out, even though it's been dry, you know, you <laughs> you could walk out here and there'd just be a ton of mosquitoes for no reason, you know? So I always carry bug repellent with me all right so so there's the east german gas mask bag emptied okay you can see it's a pretty large pocket you could probably put a regular german mess kit in there and a small like bottle canteen or especially a bottle of water in here you can carry your notebook with you if you want to make notes or or something in the front pocket there so you know you couldn't you couldn't take this and use it for camping overnight or anything like that, but it's a you know a good day walk going in. If I like it enough, I may just sew these up and make these permanent, not just tied in like you see in there. I just done that so I could test out the bag and walk around with it and see how I liked it. But for a day trip, it's pretty cool and it's different than anybody else in your group probably carries. So it's a conversation piece. It's a neat piece of military surplus history so you know from a country that doesn't exist anymore so I, I really like it I got a lot of East German stuff and uh, I've got three East German canteens all different that I want to show sometime so anyways that's what I'm carrying in my bag Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, thanks for coming along with me out here. Uh, if you like what you've seen, please click subscribe on my channel now and follow me. I put out all kinds of military surplus type videos with mess kits and canteens from armies all around the world. Uh, I do a lot of camp cooking. That's one of my favorite things to do. 
uh, kayak fishing, regular fishing, uh, camping videos, things like that. So um, also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you, uh, you know, makes me feel good. It gives me a little bit of feedback as to what I'm doing here. Um, so thanks to all my subscribers and thanks for joining me today. So uh, have a great day.